the world is full of billions of people, but each individual experiences his or her day differently. There are some days where people are full of pure joy, some where they're just feeling okay, I mean, you're doing fine, right? And some where they just want to sit in their room, watching a Netflix show, eating ice cream, and cry. Many problems that people experience are not noticed by the public due to the person being affected hiding it or the public not taking the time to observe it. We don't take notice of these emotional problems. It can make a person feel like they're worthless. By just doing one thing to acknowledge someone's emotion can make a person feel like she is cared about. This could be as simple as sharing a smile or a laugh with someone. Just a small, kind gesture could change somebody's day for the better. For the new year, Natalie and I have made the goal to make a minimum of one person smile every single day for the year. Once the year is over, we collectively will make at least 730 people smile. This goal is not hard to do and might not seem significant on a daily basis, but overall, it can impact many people's lives. We have been conducting an unofficial social experiment. When we say this, we mean that we've been smiling at people that we know or don't and have been mentally recording their reactions. So far, everyone that we've shared a smile with has smiled back or started a conversation with us. As soon as they saw us smile at them, their eyes instantly smiled and looked happy. To us, it's just the smile, but to them, it could be more than that. It could make their day. I've had multiple reactions from many different people that I've smiled at over the course of a few months. The one that sticks with me the most, however, is there was this one time, and I was walking home from school, and it was right after Sammy and I decided to start our experiment. I was just walking home like I normally do when I saw this one lady, somewhere in her 20s, out for a run. She looked absolutely exhausted, like she was about to stop. My first thought was, hey, why don't I start with this experiment now? So, just as she was about to stop, I gave her a smile. The funny thing is, she didn't stop. She smiled back and kept going strong. After she passed by, I looked behind me to see if she kept running, and she did. About a month ago, my friend wasn't doing very well emotionally. Even though I had no idea what was going on, I would told her that I was there for her and supported her no matter what. I let her know that she wanted to talk about it. I was there. Meanwhile, I just tried to make her happy. I made her laugh, whether she knows I was trying to or not, and I made sure almost every day that she was doing as well as possible. There were some days when she said she was doing fine, but I could tell from her voice, emotion, and body language that she wasn't actually doing well at all. When there were days like that, I just made sure to hang out with her and try to make her day a little bit better by being kind to her. I just keep thinking, if we could do that every day, do you know how many people's lives we can improve? I am naturally a smiley and happy person, so it's easy for me to stay that way. But as I've gotten older, I realize it's hard for kids my age to do this. They could be constantly sad and depressed. What is really sad is that most of us will go about our day not noticing. We won't notice their cups. We won't notice when they go to the bathroom. We won't notice. They try to wear a fake face of happiness so we don't notice. This is why we need to be kind. None of us really know the full story of what's going on in their life. We could be as happy as ever, but their mom could have just been diagnosed with cancer. We shouldn't think what's her problem as she sits alone at the lunch table, but instead give her a smile that says, I'm here to help and go take a seat with her. We should be sharing the joy that we have with other people when they can't be happy themselves. Just like Sammy, I am usually a happy and positive person who is almost always smiling. I'm actually very thankful that my life is, compared to a lot of people, actually pretty great. However, I do know some people whose lives aren't like that. I know people who used to struggle with depression, or still do. I know people who struggle with eating disorders, and I know people who struggle with anxiety. 
However, I didn't just stand back and watch these people struggle. I helped them. I would tell them why they're loved, or I would tell them things I love about them that others do too. I do the best I can to put a smile on their face so they have a reason to stop. Recently, I have gotten very close with someone who used to cut. Ever since we started talking a couple months ago, they haven't cut once. I help them get through that rough patch in their life and move on from it. Not only would I do that for them, but I would do that for anyone. I would help anyone get through it because no one deserves to have to go through that at all, but especially not alone. It's a hard thing to do, to help someone like that. And there's not always a lot you can do. Sometimes the only thing you can do is just be there for them when they need it. This is one of the many reasons on why I've taken up the challenge of making someone smile every day. Because I hate to see the people I care about struggle with this kind of stuff. And I want to do whatever I can to help change that. You can do this too. You can help people who are struggling. But it doesn't have to be in a huge way. It could just be something as simple as smiling them at the hallways at school or giving them a compliment. Something like, hey, your hair looks nice today. We are all capable of this. And we should focus more on making others happy so the world can be a better place. Even if they seem fine to you, on the inside, they could be struggling. That's why you have to treat people kindly all the time and give everyone a smile or a compliment. We would like to have as many people as possible join us on this journey. If everyone comes together, we can start to make a difference for people who struggle in this world. Everyone needs to start realizing that this is a problem that is happening right now, and that there is someone who is standing on that ledge deciding if they should jump. We would love to have you join us on this journey. You can be the person who helps change the world one smile at a time.